All right, this video is going to start technically here in just a moment. Uh, it's going to start with a complete truck and me saying, ah, you know what, I, I'm thinking about maybe starting to work on my XTM X Factor. Uh, I did actually decide to start, as you can see. Uh, I have started tearing this down to start working on it. Uh, but you'll see in the this upcoming video, uh, I start, I, I talk about starting on it, and then I start on it, and then I start ripping it down. I got a bunch of uh, sections of video, I kind of just throw them together, but it's all going to be on the XTM X Factor right here, coming up. Uh, but I wanted to throw this in the beginning. Uh, you know what? No, I'm going to throw... This is a beginning part to let you know that, yes, I do start working on the truck and we start tearing it down. There's parts of that coming in the video. Uh, but uh, I want to show some updates, uh, but I don't want to show that now until you, you kind of see what I'm talking about. So I'll throw another little section uh, later in the video. So enjoy XTM X Factor. We'll see you then. Hello and welcome to Nitro Talk. Uh, if you're into nitro engines, nitro vehicles, anything at all to do with the nitro side of the RC hobby, uh, any help, uh, I really appreciate it. Like, comment, subscribe. Really love all the comments. Uh, thank you very much for watching. All right, we're going to talk today about, about my XTM X Factor that I have here. Uh, I haven't done a video on this in a long time. It's actually one of the first things I talked about on this channel uh, a couple years back was my XTM X Factor here. Uh, I picked this truck up pretty much 100% uh, complete, uh, but uh, in not great shape. Uh, it looks like it has been exposed to the elements. It maybe sat uh, out in a garage for you know 10 15 years uh, and it looks like it has some overspray on it uh, and we'll take a better look at the truck here in a second uh, but uh, real quick this is uh, see this piece are we in view no uh, right here uh, goes across your body mounts uh, it's a body mount piece, okay? So this is kind of uh, emblematic as to what the truck looks like. It has this overspray, what looks like overspray or something, uh, all over it. Uh, I took this and just hit this with, uh, uh, went into my kitchen put some Dawn dish soap on a green scrubby and hit that right there. And that came pretty clean, pretty easily. So uh, I think that it, what it really needs is just some elbow grease uh, to go over and scrub all of that uh, overspray off. And we'll take a look at the, the truck here in a second. You'll see what I'm talking about. Uh, but besides that overspray issue, right, uh, we have some rusted fasteners. Uh, like I said, this truck has, uh, I feel, been in the elements. Before I got it uh, five, seven or so years ago, uh, I've had it on display since then. But uh, before I purchased it, uh, I believe it was languishing in a garage or somewhere. Uh, and so a lot of the fasteners, if we can take a look. So that's our overspray stuff, right? You see that on there. And you also see how uh, all those screws are getting rusty. That's that's pretty much the, uh, that and sadly... Uh, the tires are gone. Uh, the tires, uh, you can see that rear one there. They are dry, rotted. Um, this front, yeah, front. 
none of them are perfect. The fronts are a little better than the rears, but uh, yeah, the tires are no good, but uh, that's not uh, too bad of an issue. I, I'm, I'm sure I will either find uh, another pair of tires to go on it, uh, or worse comes to worse, I got the Mammoth. I could pilfer the, the t wearing tires and wheels off of the Mammoth. And I believe those should go on here. Uh, if I can, I, I, I'm, I'm sure I could find something to go on here. So the wheels and tires are gone, right? But the rest of it seems to be 100% complete. Uh, I took the tank off. I got the tank and like the uh, power switch and stuff here. Uh, I took the engine off and I already restored the engine. That's uh, the original 24-7 engine with the small cooling head. Uh, I do want to put the original engine back on it when I restore it. Uh, this will be uh, what I consider uh, a restoration. And I have some questions. Uh, if there are any XTM X-Factor owners out there, um, I, I kind of worry about these axles. These hard plastic axles, uh, I worry that uh, this truck is, you know, now 30, uh, at least 30 years old. Uh, can you run these nowadays? Do these plastic parts, are they brittle? Uh, do they hold up? Um, these are holding up very well uh, for their age, but this hasn't been ran in a long time. Uh, I don't know how it would respond to some torque going into those gearboxes. Uh, there, it's a lot of plastic. Uh, anyone else have an X Factor? Do you run it? Uh, do you worry about uh, the plastic? Uh, how's your plastic holding up? All right. So, where's my piece I was talking about? All right. So it, it really, in, I, what it needs is a complete disassemble, right? I need to, to tear it all the way down. I believe the tranny is fine. Uh, I can turn the spur gear and uh, the truck rolls forward. Uh, the two, it's got a uh, forward and reverse gear. The gear shifter is over there. Uh, the one problem that I see is it looks like someone has... How's our view there? It looks like someone has rigged this universal. Um, they just kind of put uh, a wire pin through it there. Uh, so I'll have to repair that. And as you can see, uh, there's rust on stuff. So it's going to be cleaning up the overspray and polishing, cleaning all the fasteners, uh, all the drive shafts. Uh, getting the rust off of everything uh, and then just putting it back together. Uh, it really, I feel, is just what it needs just a, a large investment of time. Uh, it's it's 100% complete. All the radio boxes are there. I have the fuel tank. Uh, the body is absolutely gorgeous. Uh, the body is in great condition. I wish the, uh, the whole rest of the truck looked as good as this body great looking original x-factor body uh, i do have the pipe which uh, is a very desirable piece uh, when i did my pipe collection videos uh, i had a few people uh, hit me up trying to uh, cop this pipe off of me but sorry uh, I want to put it back on the X Factor here. Um, so here's the thing. I know I'm horrible with... I'm horrible with even starting projects. I will talk about a project. I will look at a vehicle, right? We'll, we'll go over it. We'll discuss it. But I'm, I, I know that I'm not great at starting and finishing these, these things. I got, I got a ton of them. That's one of the problems. Uh, is there's so many projects I could work on. Uh, but the thing is, uh, it's summertime here in Central Florida. It's getting there. And it is very warm outside. So racing my buggy at the track, uh, while I do love it, 
Uh, I might not be out there as much during the summer days. Uh, I certainly won't be out there as long as I do when I go out uh, in, in the winter time when the weather's nicer. So I would like to to do some some indoor stuff, right? So what can I do here at my desk? And I could do this. Uh, like I said, uh, I rebuilt the shocks. It's it's basically just a tear down, clean up, and put back together. Uh, it's all there. Uh, I don't think there's anything uh, seriously broken that I would have to replace. Uh, got a, a high tech servo in there I'm, I'm, with a servo saver on it. Uh, I'm not sure if I'll leave that set up or I'll do something else. Um, the spare gear. Uh, does this have a slipper also for uh, XTM X Factor owners? Uh, there's a spring there, so I'm I'm pretty sure that means there's a slipper on here, right? So uh, I need to, as you can see, that looks kind of rusty. Uh, everything needs cleaned up for sure. Everything needs a good cleaning up and assessment. Uh, and I, I, I'm I'm sure that I can get this thing looking beautiful again. I can clean all this stuff up, uh, and then I'm sure uh, if I if I trust that the plastic axles uh, are going to hold up, uh, I would love to take this thing out uh, and give it a shakedown. I would love to. Uh, this thing's supposed to be uh, a nice wheelier, uh, and when it wheelies, it twists because of that four link suspension. Uh, it comes up and it kind of twists off to the side. I've seen videos. It looks it looks super cool. Uh, it's an awesome truck. It's uh, certainly uh, a classic. Uh, they are fairly desirable nowadays. Uh, people like to restore them. People like to run them. Uh, all right. So I, I, I was about to say, what do you think? <laughs> Should I do it? Of course, of course, you're like, hell yeah, Todd, do it up, uh, clean that thing up, and let's see it in its in its glory, right? Let, let's see it looking how it should look. Um, all, all it is is time. Uh, that's all this thing needs is some time. Should I start tearing her down? One of the first videos I made on my channel uh, was about this this bumper here was bent way down uh, and I had done a video on my method of uh, bending these plastic parts back into shape right it was it looks like it's starting to hang back down a little bit but um, it's a lot better than it was and I could always uh, move it back up a little bit anyways um, yes I should do it what do you, what do y'all think? Do you think that's some questions for y'all? All right. So number one, the XTM. Uh, anyone does anyone else have one of these? Do you run it? Uh, how are these axles? How robust are these plastic axles? Thirty years after they were made, are they getting brittle? Um. Other than that, um, I've never ran one of these. I've never ran an X Factor. I've never ran this one. Uh, I would love to be able to say that uh, I ran it. I would love to run an X Factor for y'all. I would love to get this thing out. So, uh, give me some feedback. Uh, tell me, yeah, Todd, get off your ass. Put the time into it. Uh, get a scrubbing and bring that thing back to beauty. We'll see y'all in the next one. Hopefully, an XTM update. We'll start tearing it down. That's the first step. Tearing it down. Y'all want to see that? Have a good one. All right. I say we're going to get a better look at this thing. Uh, so I have to cut this into the video somewhere. Uh, so let's kind of get in here and see what we're going to have to tackle. Like I said, uh, everything has this overspray is what I'm calling it. Uh, but it comes right off. So basically all the plastic parts, uh, I'm just going to scrub and then, cause I want this thing to look really nice when I'm done. That's, that's the, 
the whole point of this is to is to shine this thing up and make it look really good again. So I'm going to scrub off the plastic parts and then probably hit them with some WD-40 to make them look nice and shiny black. Uh, the metal parts are probably I'm going to take like see all these screws kind of rusted uh, all the screws will probably be uh, with a wire wheel on the Dremel uh, I'll clean those up with that uh, these are the mounts right here for the pipe the pipe mounts to those again wire wheel I'll clean those up um, the one, uh, so I, I had a bag, I opened it up, I had the tank here, I pulled the tank off, is that a, uh, throttle return spring right there? Um, and I also saw, uh, this came, uh, so this is the original, uh, receiver that was in it, uh, I believe this came RTR, uh, with the radio system, but it came with this R box here. Uh, which is used for, uh, if you have a two-channel radio, right, which most of the old radios were two-channel, uh, you, you were able to use reverse, uh, which you normally would require a third channel on your radio uh, by the use of this R box here. It's XTM branded uh, electronic there. That's pretty cool. Uh, and that's the switch cover um yeah i think down down there that oops sorry let me see where we're looking uh that is the forward and reverse switch right there it connects to this servo um yeah that's the the spur doesn't look bad it doesn't look let me try to get a profile view where's the uh where are we at oh there we are. Yeah, the spur actually looks great as far as wear. Uh, it's just got some rust on it. So, you know, again, wire wheel. I'll be wire wheel dremeling the heck out of this thing. A uh, little bit of maybe had some standing water right there on the aluminum chassis. Uh, I'll... I'll I don't want to sand the chassis down. I'll clean it up really good and see. Uh, it, 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 everything will have to be assessed. You know what I mean? Uh, look at that. The handle actually looks decent. It's not too bad. Uh, if I can get those back looking like that, I'll, I'll be happy. Uh, it is a... It's a three servo, yeah, it's a three servo, two channels, but three servos, right? You got your throttle servo, stern ser servos mounted up there on the axle, which is unique. Uh, and then that is just your forward and reverse servo right there. Uh, shocks appear to be okay, uh, probably out of fluid. Uh, they've been sitting for a long time, but... They'll get cleaned up and rebuilt. I, mean, I think this thing will look really good. The body, uh, we're we're doing great with the body already. The body is is beautiful on this thing. Uh, excellent body. It's very sad, and I'm actually thinking that's another that's another question. Anyone anyone had any luck uh, doing anything with these wheels? I was thinking maybe boil them. Uh, boil them uh, in, in hot water, right? Kind of soften them up again, and then maybe try to pump them with air uh, to to puff it out. Uh, maybe stuff something in there to to pull that back out. Uh, anyone had any luck? They're not. That's the thing. Uh, I I've seen these. I had a couple old Kyosho electrics that had uh, tires that sat and got ruined like this uh, and they were brittle right they were coming apart these are actually still fairly soft um something tells me i might somehow be able to restore these uh anybody got any any uh good tips i haven't really researched it um but 
anybody uh, got any good ideas how to bring these tires back to life uh, I, I'd love to be able to do that the, the with the original wheels and tires that would be uh, an extra bonus for sure uh, when I get this thing going if I was able to have uh, original wheels and tires on it as well uh, those big chassis plates right there Um. Uh, now, these zip ties, were these added by someone or does this actually come uh, when it comes out of the box brand new? Does it have these zip ties on it? Are those a factory or are those added? I, I, I wondered. Uh, the, the gearboxes, axles look good. I don't see anything broken. Uh, everything looks to be... Uh, all original, just, you know, dirty, some, uh, everything's going to have to be cleaned up. Let me just real quick. I mean, it will, they, they will get a little bit of, it will clean up. All right, I'm just going to kind of throw all this footage together. Uh, I talked about it, and I went ahead and decided I'm going to go ahead and, and, and start working on this thing. And I've started kind of tearing it down. Uh, I looked at the spur gear, uh, put some WD-40 on it. It's kind of rusted together, uh, rusted onto the shaft there. So uh, that's something I'm going to deal with. Uh, but I've kind of started, uh, I took these engine, or not engine, uh, body mounts off right here. And as you can see, where I took them off, all right, this, this right here is where I just removed those body posts. See the, uh, the rust. Yeah, it, it, uh. She's, she's dirty. Uh, anyways, the next thing uh, I wanted to do was remove these shocks. Uh, I feel like they're kind of in the way of some other things. Uh, we'll see how... Uh, See how uh, it sits with the shocks removed. And uh, with them off, I can kind of assess, see how, how they're doing as far as uh, their, their seals and whatnot. What is that? Oh, that's like the ball that goes, does that go inside? Oh, that's the ball that goes inside there. Oh, it's loose. It Came right out. That ain't cool. All right. You know what? Let me remove one of these. And we'll take a look at one of these shocks here. All right. So there's one of our uh, XTM shocks. And I don't like that. Uh, that is supposed to, like, pressure fit into there. Uh, but it's falling right on out. Or is it just supposed to... Let me see the other one. Okay. Yeah, I guess it, it's not... It's not... Okay. In the plastic... In the plastic caps, they should be pressure fit into there. But I guess these and the aluminum ones, they just sit there. All right. Let me give this a... Uh, it feels like there's still shock oil in it. These... Uh, <laughs> those have seen better days uh, shock shaft protectors what, what are those called yeah it's still got oil in it still rebounds uh, feels dry yeah I feel like those shocks are fine just need to clean up go ahead and take this one off of there 
Those are not very, for as long as that screw is, not a whole lot of it caught in the way, it, the way towards the back. All right, let me go ahead and take these other two shocks off. Now, I, I was thinking about uh, getting these screws mixed up, you know what I mean? Uh, with, you know, which ones go where. So I'm thinking as I do this, uh, if I come across, uh, or even, you know, just general, I, I should probably, like, show the camera. Those are the shock, upper, upper shock mount screws, uh, machine thread. In case, you know what I mean, at a later time, if I uh, am trying to differentiate some fasteners, I can go back and check the footage and see what goes where, you know what I'm saying? All right, so there's our shocks off. So now the uh, chassis should be totally dropped. Okay, there's our uh, cantilever action. Cool. Um, so, yeah, the, the, the shocks, obviously, are, are going to have to be rebuilt and cleaned up. For XTM shocks, these are actually, uh, to be honest with you, and I've, I've had a lot of XTMs. I, I used to be a big uh, XLB guy. I've had four or five XLBs. Um, uh, in my opinion, XTM is not... The, the best shock package. Uh, those uh, XTM XLB shocks uh, specifically uh, were a pain uh, and they they notorious leakers. Uh, but these uh, aluminum ones here seem pretty good. They seem, I don't think, none of the, these all uh, have not leaked at all. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I like those shocks. They'll get cleaned up and those will look beautiful. Uh, the original neon green, those are a little dirty. They'll get cleaned up, and those will be looking uh, nice, and, nice and shiny, bright neon again. Uh, what's it? Just go ahead and remove these cantilevers. What I was thinking was try to remove, uh, basically take everything off of the chassis plate. Other body mount, and now this is oh, now yeah. oh, that one was tight, didn't need to be that tight. Yeah, I got to keep track of all this stuff. Now, these right here are some of the worst. These ones over here are actually looking pretty good. But check out these two. They are in need of... Uh, I'm going to take this wire brush right here. See that wire brush? Do we get I feel like we didn't get a good shot of those. There we go. Come on now, zoom. There we go. You see those? Uh, I feel like I might not get a good uh, grip with the screwdriver. So a little bit of wire brushing and beautiful, huh? We'll do 
definitely get a good grip in there. One, two, and these, uh, because of the body mount, it's hard to get at it with the power tool. Uh, and I certainly, I want to be careful. Make sure these body mounts do not get broken. Very important. Mount that beautiful body. Uh, certainly lucked out in the body department on, on this one. All right, there's our body mounts, front and rear. And screws. I can go ahead and, you know what, let me move that uh, rod there. That is kind of in the way, is there? All right, that goes directly into those big plastic side plates. Oh, okay, there's three. So those are the, there, there's six of these that hold the chassis to those big plastic side plates. One, two, three. And those also held on the uh, pickup handle. Um, can I get to those engine mounts? Phillip engine mounts, but I guess, you know, the chassis doesn't run on the ground, you know, like a buggy, so it doesn't matter. They, they, they'll be okay. They don't need to be countersunk. Uh, there's one. That, do I, am I saying body mounts? I'm working on the engine mounts right now. Uh, this one's kind of in the way of my suspension. Be careful. Always, there's a good point I can make. Always be careful when you're uh, unscrewing fasteners. You want to make sure you're always coming. You, you use a properly sized uh, screwdriver and come at it nice and straight uh, so you don't strip anything out. All right, there are the engine mounts. And I can go ahead and I can put... Some of these things uh, I should be, uh, if it's something like this, the screws that came out of it, I can put right back into it. So let me go ahead and do that. All right. Um, that's, you know what, I don't want to remove those cantilevers. Let's take a look and see how those are going to come off. One, two. That's one. These coming off pretty easily. Two cantilevers. And this is number three cantilever. The Revo also has some uh, cantilevers, huh? All right, and the last one right here now how about like those that, that 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 might be a good idea huh remove the cantilevers and put the screws right back into them i can do that one two One. 
you know, it, this isn't the most exciting part, but it's, it's a good tip so you don't uh, lose what you need to put them back together. number three put those two screws in that and the last one did I lose the screws fell out is that them that's them all right now let's flip her over and see with those uh, cantilevers removed and see what we're looking like from up top now these, I'm going to have to, everything's going to have to be polished. So, um, how tough are those going to be? Yeah, they're going to be pretty tough to get to those with everything in place. So for now, let me just remove them up top. Should I even unscrew them? Comes, uh, th this is going to be unscrewed and, and taken apart to clean this shaft. So, yeah, might as well just do it that way. Just unscrew them. Yeah, that's going to have to be turned <laughs> and, and, and polished right there. There's our uh, cantilever. Yeah, all this, all this is going to have to be cleaned. This will all be restored. Now, it's not going to be as shiny Move I wanted the whole rod to turn. It's not going to be shiny as brand new. Uh, stuff like that rod right there. You know what? Just for uh, for example, let's go ahead and uh, I'll show you how I do these. How I'm going to do these. So there's my rod that is all rusted, right? And looking like crap. So what I'll do to that is I'll grab my drill. I will chuck, chuck the piece into my drill. All right. And then I'll grab my sanding sponge right there you know i love those and use those for a lot of stuff are we in frame here kind of and i'll take and it's hard to do uh I'll get a little bit of that a little bit of that This is in pretty bad shape, so it's going to need good, good polishing. And like I said, it's not going to get back to original. But it looks a lot better. So basically, we're going to be taking them from that. To that not you know mint brand new but much better and acceptable you know what I mean presentable uh, she she's been through some stuff but she, we'll, we'll put some lipstick on her and she'll look good again she can go out for a date heck yeah all right so that's how we're gonna do a lot of the the metal parts, uh, if they can be turned uh, with my drill, they will be turned with my drill. Uh, parts like those, um, I'll have my wire wheel on my Dremel, but basically uh, the effect is the same as what I'm doing right here by hand. It just basically, and I may even 
uh, do the old Todd trick of sharpening them if I want them to be uh, black. I don't know if I'll go <laughs> through all that, but uh, if I wanted black ones, I could sharpie them. Anyways, <clears throat> let me see there. Look at, look at that rust. It'll all be it'll all be cleaned up. Let me see. Yeah, it's still it, it needs work. It's preliminary. We're we're still in the very early stages of of tearing this thing down. Uh, all right, let me go ahead and take these other two cantilevers off by unscrewing them. And we're almost, uh, we are almost to the chassis plate to where I could uh, remove the chassis plate. Last cantilever. Can I remove that? Is that? I know it's not held on. Front uh, bumper here. No, uh, there's no bolts, just the screws into plastic. Take it off. Now, a lot of like right up in here where these uh, the boxes get mounted these screws it basically just has little plastic blocks underneath that are used to catch those screws and so there's a little screw here to hold the plastic block in place and then the plastic block has this hole that accepts the the screw from the the box This one was wanting to act like it wanted to strip, but I was like, nah, I ain't doing that. All right, front bumper. Uh, maybe I could either black it out. I, I don't like, I don't like uh, mostly chrome with some black wear on it there. Uh, if it was all black, I could just polish it up with some Sharpie, but. Uh, I don't really have a chrome Sharpie. I got a silver Sharpie, uh, like a gray. Uh, I don't know. I'll do something to touch that up. Maybe I'll paint it again. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. All right. Um, should I go ahead and remove the main plates that hold it? The main screws that hold it to the big side plates. Go ahead and take those off. And so the tranny is attached. Uh, Uh, I think I think it's really just that those four screws on the top of that tranny, I believe, might be the only thing holding the the chassis plate on to the rest of it. Let's see here. One, two. And I should put these back in to the transmission because these are important. Those are the transmission ones right there. Let's get a good look at them. Uh, yeah. Um, uh, what? The brake lever. Oh, it's, duh, it's connected to this, uh, servo here. Uh, ba ba ba.
here we go. Aha. Um, that doesn't slide right out of there, huh? That's, that's weird. It, it looks like it should just slide right uh, out, but I guess it's perfectly... Uh, Got to come off this way, off the top. All right, lever out and plate up. All righty, looky there. Chassis plate off. Four link remaining. I think we're at a good spot for right now uh, to pause this. Uh, so that's part one. Uh, partial tear down i'm going to put these screws uh, back into this tranny for now so they don't get lost uh, i think i got a pretty good idea on all the rest of them but all right that is uh part one disassembly partial disassembly we did some work on it we'll be back we'll see y'all later have a great day all right, so we've got her tore down uh, partially. We've got the suspension remaining here. I got the, the chassis plate off. Uh, but I kind of wanted to show a couple little things that I've been working on here. Number one, uh, I, took the, I took a wheel and tire apart. It looks like uh, these wheels will be reusable here. Uh, I am sure I have a set of tires I can get on these. Uh, I do not want to take apart, these are Tamiya Terra Crusher wheels and tires. I got a set of these, um, but these are the same size uh, rims. So if need be, if I have to, I could take these Terra Crusher tires uh, and make them work. But I think I should have a loose set. That's one thing we've, I've never shown. I've shown a lot, most of all of my collections relating to RC. Uh, I've never shown my wheels and tires. I've got two big monster tubs uh, of wheels and tires. We'll get into those one of these days. All right, so that's that. Um, the other thing, I started kind of working on these parts. We did a little, uh, I showed you how I polish these rods here, right? That's a before and after. You know, you know what? My, my light. Sorry about that. So that's a before and after on those rods there. Yeah, the rust, the rust did do damage. It's never going to come perfect, right? Uh, there is the, the rust damage on there. Uh, but it, it does look a lot better for sure. Uh, another thing here, I'm starting to work on these parts. Oh, yeah, so I wanted to see if uh, my... Ultrasonic bath uh, would take off this overspray that I, whatever I, I'm calling this stuff on here, uh, overspray. I want to see if my ultrasonic bath would take it off. So, I fired it off, fired it up, and I threw in, uh, so this is one of the radio boxes, okay, you can see there, and that's that overspray on it. Uh, this is one that I threw in the ultrasonic bath. Now, yes, it is clear of it, uh, but it I, I still had to kind of wipe it off. Uh, it softened it up a lot, uh, and I really just had to uh, take a quick wipe down, and it came right off. So that's a finished radio box, and then that's... The one I still have to do. Uh, and I started working on uh, these little parts here. So uh, this is a cantilever setup. And as you can see, that ball in there that this link is supposed to pivot and, and roll on, uh, it is... You know, it's supposed to, it's supposed to fall under its weight that thing is stuck right that that's not a good so uh 
this is that this is one of those ball links now again just like with that rod there's rust damage on it you see that it was really uh, this was done with a Dremel wire wheel, right? I, I cleaned this up. You can see it still has the rust damage on it. Uh, but it is smooth. And, as you can see, if I put it together, it now will will move nice and freely it's not binding up anymore uh, like that one so it's going to be yes it's going to be a lot of work i got a crap ton of rusty rusty screws rusty parts it, it's going to be a lot of work uh, but i'm doing it uh I'm, I'm i'm going on it i'm i'm feeling this project uh i'm I'm excited to get this XTM X Factor up and running again. Uh, and really, I, I feel it's just that cleanup. Uh, I did uh, put some WD 40 on that spur. Looks like maybe it's dry. Maybe I'll hit it again. Yeah, that get. We got some, some pretty serious uh, rust going on, but uh, we're going to work on it. Where's my, uh, take my uh, brush or wire. Oh, look at there. I got a, there's a piece. Take my wire and give this a good scrub. I'm just kind of, uh, I'm, I know I'm kind of all over the place with this thing. Uh, we're, we're, we're still tearing it down. This spur is going to need some elbow grease. But, and that shaft there. Hopefully, uh, I, I, should, I don't think I'll really have to replace much. It really should just be a cleanup job on all of this stuff. Is it wanting to come off of there yet? Still, uh, still kind of stuck on there. Let me get in there good. But, there's a little tap. All right, anyways. Uh, we're working on all this. Let me get, we're seeing a WD-40 commercial. Let me move that. Uh, all right, that was the quick update. Um, uh, the next video, we're going to complete the disassembly. Uh, I'm going to take a look at those axles, see how those axles are doing. I'll repair that universal. Uh, we got a lot to do, but we are going to get the XTM X-Factor on the road again. See y'all later. Have a great day.